This is the unboxing of the Anchor 3 to 1 MacGo battery power core 5K. This is a power bank which will attach magnetically to the iPhone 12 or above and it has a 5000 milliampere battery size and can charge wirelessly and I believe also that this is the first version of Anchor which uses the MagSafe as a battery attachment. Now they have uh, several new versions like the one with double the MAH at 10,000 and they also have other versions which have a stand on the back. But this one is the first version uh, and the smallest size without the stand. And I chose this because it's uh, lighter and thinner than the others. And also to try out the wireless charging power bank instead of using the cable. Because if you use the cable all the time, the bottom uh, port of the phone uh, will have scratches on the frame. I never noticed it until I saw it in the light that you see every time when you put in the lightning cable it will cause uh, scratches on either the aluminium frame or the steel frame and I suppose also the titanium frame with the newer models. And it's also practical that you don't have to bring a separate cable when you want to charge your phone with the power bank using this and additionally it will uh, stick to right to the correct location on the back of your phone instead of just placing it on top with a normal wireless charger and you can bring it everywhere with you and this is a, a nice packaging i remember when i ordered through amazon the anchor products always had a plain packaging. I think that was probably the plain packaging is the same product, just it, they probably have a original manufacturer version, so they don't display any print on the box. But this one has a, a, a picture and it has print and it has details all written all over it. It is a has a total output of 12 watt uh, input 5 volt and 2 ampere it has USB-C output and it contains the 5000 milliampere and a USB-C to USB-C charging cable which is 60 centimeters long and it also comes with a guarantee paper so let's unbox it. This one is the cheapest wireless power bank you can get. It costs around $20. It probably has been reduced in price because it's already an older version and now they want to sell, um, now they have newer versions and they want to maybe get rid of the, the old version so they give it for a reduced price. And this is probably the user manual or safety instructions. Oh, it uh, shows the description of the LED indicator. Flashing blue is wireless charging activated. A solid blue is charging wirelessly. Flashing blue quickly is a metal or abnormal objects detected and then the battery level indicator flashing white battery input output solid white showing the current battery level so they say that this wireless charger is not compatible with non MagSafe phone cases so either you have a MagSafe case or you charge use it without a case on and you when you charge the battery you should use a minimum of a 5 watt charger so probably 
better maybe 20 watt charger or even 30 watt wireless chargers make charging more convenient than wire chargers but are confined by current wireless technology so i think uh, this the maximum wireless charge you can do on the iphone is probably seven and a half watt and then they say high temperatures will reduce charging speed and restrict power so better keep the phone cool while charging the protective case and the position of your device on the wireless charger will affect the charging speed yeah you're probably better off uh, charging without a case on so it get less hot than with a case you should store it in a cool and dry place don't store it in a hot or humid environment uh, op operating temperature between 32 or i mean 0 to 40 degrees celsius it may feel warm when you charge it do not expose to heat and fire don't use chemicals when cleaning the product so i think that was it it comes in a plastic packaging it is quite small i never see it in real life because on, I only see, saw it on pictures and it looks quite big on pictures, but in reality it's quite small. It, the surface is a plastic matte surface and the sides are shiny plastic and the only brand name is the anchor name and this uh, button here with the battery level indicator there are four uh, small lights you can push it and here's the usb-c port and this is the included cable from anchor oh and they also have a user guide so the battery is very small and practical you probably can easily fit it in your pocket and it's quite slim and it's uh, it's light but you know that there's a battery so it has some weight to it probably uh, because also because of the additional uh, magnet inside or or steel plate and it's quite smooth it's very compact and it's a really good size i think it has the writing uh, mac go battery power core 5k is the anchor 321 and it's made in uh, shenzhen wireless output is five watt or seven and a half watt total output is 12 watt and the USB-C input is 5 volt 2 ampere USB-C output is 5 volt 2 ampere cell capacity 5000 mAh 3.7 uh, volt or 18.5 watt hour but it's also 2700 mAh. That's probably the actual uh, power output. The cell capacity is 5000, but 2700 mAh, that's probably the actual size. I don't know what's the difference, but anyway, this is the unboxing and and this is the quick start guide for the Mac Go battery so charging other devices so you can charge it either vertically or horizontally as long as the circle is aligned on the phone and you probably can charge the battery at the same time while the phone is being charged by the battery 
So that was the unboxing of the Anker 321 Mac Go battery, power core 5K.